I'm Allie from the SimplyWise team. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the SimplyWise Receipt Scanner to record your business expenses. Now, when you get into the app, you should see a screen that looks like this with some folders. And if I tap into any of the folders, and I'll see right now this is a fresh account, so I don't have too many receipts, but if I tap into another folder, I can easily pull up my receipts. I'm gonna tap on back to get myself back to the home screen. Now, you will primarily be using SimplyWise to um, record paper and email receipts. So let me first show you how to record a paper receipt with SimplyWise. So if you see that blue camera in the bottom right-hand corner, it's just a matter of tapping that camera and then taking a photo of the receipt. And it's kind of that simple. You'll see the app scans, crops, and then digitizes all of the information from the receipt. Uh, in this case, it knew that the merchant, this is from a dinner, was Sweet Polly. It knew the date from the receipt. Um, it captured the total, the tax, and um, even the tip because it recognized that this was a restaurant receipt that has a tip. Um, there were no line items on this receipt, as you can see. I go back. Um, but it did capture the um, my payment type, which is a Visa card ending in these numbers. Now, I do have the ability before I save it away by categorizing it in a folder, I do also have the ability to input other information that you might need for your team. So for example, I could add my team code. So I could say this was for the blue team. Oops. Uh, I could add in any notes that I wanted. I could say this was for dinner with a client. I'll say dinner with Susan. And finally, I can categorize it away by sending it to the right folder. So in this case, I'm going to put this in, I'll put this in meals. And if I tap on save and then save again, now that receipt is filed away. Now we went a little bit slow. I'm going to tap that up later here. We went a little bit slow to um, to show you how to scan the receipt, but as you can see, it is quite simple. And I would say for myself, the majority of the times I get a receipt, I'm walking out of the Starbucks or the restaurant or Staples, and I snap the receipt right there and then as I'm headed out the door and then toss it away. Now, if I needed to ever pull that receipt back up, I could of course tap into my meals folder and pull it up where I just categorized it. Um, and if I needed to, I could just send this receipt to someone else. Let's say I needed to send it to my manager. I could tap on share and, and send it over as a PDF by text or email. I'm going to tap X out of that right now and get back to my home screen. But you also have the ability in SimplyWise to search for any of your receipts. And so I could search for it right now. It's in my most recent, so it's coming up. But I could search for sweet to pull up this sweet poly receipt. I could also search by any of the line items. If I remembered, if I was like, I know I have, I know I bought avocados, but I don't remember when that receipt was from or where they were. Um, I could search for avocado. I could search for the total of the receipt um, and any other metadata, any other information on the receipt. So that's how you get a paper receipt into the SimplyWise app. Now let's go over how to get an email receipt into the SimplyWise app. To email a receipt into the SimplyWise app, you tap on that menu in the upper left-hand corner, then tap on integrations, then on email, and you'll see right here that you can manually forward email receipts into the SimplyWise app. And any uh, every SimplyWise user will get their own personalized email address. So anyone that I, any emails that I send to this address will appear in the SimplyWise app. So let's try it out. I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to copy that email. And I accidentally put my name in as Alki, so it's a little confusing. I'm going to go to a recent Uber receipt in my email. This is from last night. And I'm going to forward this into the SimplyWise app. I'm going to paste that right there. And again, any receipts that I send to that email will appear in the app. Let me get back to the app. And I'm gonna go back to the home screen of the app. Okay, now that I'm back in the app, you'll see that the e that email receipt is now in my inbox of the app, which is in the upper right-hand corner on my home screen. So if I tap into that, this is the to be saved or inbox section. Uh, now here you'll see that receipt that I just sent in from last night. Um, if I tap into it, I will see the actual 
email receipt for this Uber ride. And again, you'll see um, that all of my information is digitized from the receipt. Simply Wise knew that it was Uber from April 30th. It knew the total and the tax. It had some line items. It picked up the payment type. I can again put this in under blue team. And finally, I can categorize it away just like anything else. I'll put this under travel and save. And now my inbox is back to zero. Now you can create rules in Simply Wise. So I could say anything that I email into the app, if it's from Uber, Uber categorize it immediately into the travel category. Um, but for right now, I'm just gonna say no thanks. And then I'm gonna head back to my home screen. And that is how you get an email receipt into the Simply Wise app. Now I'm gonna show you how to run a report in the Simply Wise app, how to send all of your receipts into a spreadsheet and export it to Excel. So from my home screen in the app, if I swipe over to the left, you'll see I'm on the plugin screen. Here I can generate a report. So I'm gonna tap on reports and I'm going to create a report. It'll be an expense report. And I'll say for right now, I'm gonna select all of my folders and you'll see I could do it for just for last month or this month. Um, I could do it for all of last year or this year. I could also do a custom range. I could tell it only do these dates. For now, I'm just going to say do it from all time. Uh, so I'll say all folders, all time. And it's going to generate the three receipts <laughs> that I have in this account uh, into a report. And you'll see if I swipe over to the left, I have all that information digitized for me right in the spreadsheet. I have the payment, I have any notes that I took, um, the tax total reconciled. And I could actually add another column here um, to record my um, the team code. And so now I know that all of these are for blue team. I can also see, um, and I'll just show you how you can easily pull up those receipts. I can also see a summary of all my spending. Chart it out for me. I get my monthly totals, the total and the tax. I get the uh, my totals by category. And I have the ability to share this report. Um, so I could send this to uh, my manager or to my accountant. Um, but for now, I'm going to tap on X and go back. Um, I can also send this report to... Um, by tapping on that little um, export icon, I can send it into an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV file. Um, I could just decide to download the images either in a big zip file or in one single PDF. The report might be a little bit hard to read on your phone. So I would encourage you to try to, um, to, ge to generate the report on your computer, or again, you could just share the report with yourself by email and send it to yourself um, on the computer, but it definitely looks better, it's easier to manage um, on a big screen. And that is how you generate a report with SimplyWise. Now let's switch gears and I will um, share my computer screen. So you'll see right here that I've just logged on on any web browser, but I'm now on my computer to simplywise.com. And from simplywise.com, you can log in with your regular account information, whatever you use to get into your account in the app. And you'll see you have access to everything that you see in the, your Simply Wise app right on your computer. Um, but the view looks a little bit different. So if I tap into, for example, that meals folder where I just added a receipt, you'll see similar to the report, I have my meals in a spreadsheet format. And again, going to add the team code as a column. And, um, but I can make any edits that I want to. So if I say, if I remember, oh wait, this wasn't for dinner with Susan, this was dinner with Lisa. Um, I can make any edits very quickly right here. I'm going to go back. I can also tap into my all of my business documents. And similarly, I can see all of my receipts um, like this. And again, easily make any bulk edits that I need to to the notes or anything else. Go back to home one more time. You can also, uh, you do still have that inbox. Um, so you can tap into your inbox on web. If you had any email receipts, let's say to save, um, they would be there. You can upload any files you need. So let's say you have a, a PDF um, receipt on your desktop. Um, you could upload that right on this, right um, into your SimplyWise, uh, in, right into your SimplyWise folders right here on web. And finally, you can generate reports um, as well, just as you can in the app. And that is SimplyWise. 
We've built this to be a very simple tool, but we need feedback from customers like you uh, to continue making sure that this works the way it should. So if there's something that we're missing, if there's something that you're not understanding, please don't hesitate to write us at support at simplywise.com. We love to hear from you. Thanks for your time.